So the story comes from Louisiana. It's about a Lafayette police chief who has been fired after a short <laughs> tenure. So former Lafayette interim police chief Wayne Griffin was dismissed from the Lafayette Police Department last week, according to multiple sources. So this is going to be a wild story because this is not... <laughs> The only police chief from Lafayette who has been fired after a rather short tenure. The guy that came before him was only on duty for about 10 months. So that department has some issues. Let's let's get more into the story, though. And so after the previous Lafayette police chief, who was Thomas Glover Sr., was fired after only 10 months on the job. Back on October the 7th, 2021, Griffin was appointed interim police chief. And so back in November of 2021, he was placed on leave because of sexual harassment allegations and then on the same month he was he was reinstated now with that being said that means that this man was fired just three months after he was already reinstated for sexual assault allegations now i don't care who you are that is incredible how in the world are you replacing a guy who was only on duty, duty for 10 months as a freaking police chief you didn't get on duty, not even a month while you're on duty. You are accused of sexual harassment. You then return, and then you are fired. Holy shit, what kind of police department is this? And the previous police chief, who was Thomas Glover Sr., is claiming that he was fired because of politics and not about performance. Excuse me, when you have two back-to-back -back police chiefs, actually three back-to-back -back police chiefs who had short tenures, and y'all can't seem to keep a, keep a police chief to save your life. It's not about politics, sir. It's about performance at that point. He, he's claiming that he, he, that he brought reform. You brought reform to a department who can't keep their chief on duty. Sir, that, that is, I mean, that's like having a burning house and, being, and, and, want, and wanting people to be thankful because they save money on their pet cremation bills. Sir, you, you're, you're, you're not a mover or a shaker when it comes to police reform. You were a part of the problem. You know, you know and, 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 and I want people to see videos like this because they love to, love to say that I don't target black police officers. I target multiple in this video. And my thing about black police officers is, excuse me, I don't care how black you are. You are a product of the system. You are a tool of the system. And therefore, like any other white police officer, I can't trust you. And with so many police chiefs in and out of that freaking department, I don't see why anyone else would trust you either, just to be honest with you.